Hello and welcome to my video lesson for the tune I Can't Believe You're In Love With Me. Another great old standard. Um, let's go through the changes first. We have F major. He's in major 7. F minor. He's in minor 7. C major. Using C major 7 here. D7. I'll use D9. D minor 7. G7. He's in G7. Which is uh, going to be a C6 9 chord in this case. We call that the um, major pentatonic chord, don't forget. Because the chord shape has the 1, the 3, the 6, the 2, or the 9, and then the 5. It has all five notes of the major pentatonic, so it's a great chord shape to use, really pretty. And then you can put a C7 chord, I'm going to use C9, to turn this around back to the top in the A section. So here we go. I'm going to use some different shapes this time. F6, F minor 6, C6 9, D9, D minor 7, D minor 9, G13, G7 sharp 5, and G C6 9, C9. Again, let's do that again. That's my a la Django shape I always call it. Major 6 to the minor 6, C6 9, D9, D minor 9, G13, and C6. You can even put a 4 chord, F. It's kind of common to do that. The B section's um, just the changes to rhythm changes, which is goes to the 3, dominant, and it goes through the cycle. If you know the tune Sweet George Brown, you'll see some... Uh, Again, the B section just goes through the dominant cycle, fourths, E7, A7, D7, and G7, two bars each, except for the G7 to the C7. The C7 is important because that will pull us back to the F6, which will be the last A. Minor. And again, I'm just going to go through this shape here, F6. I call this the a la Django. The bass would be here, but this is right up, build out the fifth. So we have C, F, A, and D. It's also a D minor seven, but again, we're calling it F6. F minor six. C six nine. So really, the C stayed down the whole way through, if you notice that. flat 13 if you can call it, as you can kind of see, just does that one note change. And here's your shelf, your three note shelf here, just chunking out the chords and didn't want to do little movements there to C6. Um, here's kind of the chord melody arrangement that I had written out here. And I'm just playing it. This is not written on the chart there that I had written, but after the C6, 9, 2, 3, 4, with that high note on the G, you can turn that to a diminished 7, or triad, but I'm using a 7th, and of course, the trick, every 3 frets. So that creates a C7 with a flatted 9 sound. We have C6, 9, 2, 3, then the diminished, and you can just do quarter notes. Elegant, and then that will bring us back to the top, the F6. And this is F6, it also looks like a D minor 7, super easy. You can just do a triad or the full four note shape. <coughs> uh, you could do F6, you know, if you wanted to do that with the F in the bass. But again, I'm, I'm kind of uh, thinking I usually play with a trio or another guitar player, and then the bass that those are filled out, so the bass notes. Um, Notice just that one note change from major to minor, Oops. and then that's C major 9. So it 
what's so nice that you can grab all these melody notes just from these chord shapes. Uh, that was a D major, D7 to D9. And that's also F sharp minor 7 flat at 5. And if you put A in the bass, it's A minor 6. So again, you can see how nice this uh, material is learning chord substitutions for leads because it gives you a lot of mileage for your licks that you would just play on A minor. You can do that on D9. Or if you saw a chart that said F sharp minor 7 flat 5, you could be thinking your A minor licks. So um, definitely, you know, think about this theory stuff. Uh, D minor 11, really pretty chord. And the melody notes just right in that shape, pretty much. G13. living off the shapes So uh, I just kind of went a little bit rubato there at the end. Um, but I just wanted to show some demonstrations of how to use those shapes and just kind of start to improvise. some of those grip shapes you can just play some nice solo jazz guitar combining some of those the melody stuff along again with um, you know some of those movements down below to fill it out I'm um, listening to guitarists like Joe Pass he's one of those guys who uh, can sound like a full band and just be swinging and playing beautiful chord melody um, for f further inspiration uh, guys like Martin Taylor of course uh, Tuck Andrus um, I'm sure there's plenty and plenty of great solo jazz guitar players, but my favorite um, is definitely Joe Pass. So hopefully that will give you some uh, new ideas, get some new shapes down, keep working on those inversions, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.